values are so important to any painting, and with watercolor, getting your darks dark enough can be a little bit tricky because watercolor sometimes dries a little bit lighter than when it was wet. I'm going to show you how you can go in and fix that if that's a problem. Let's get started. This is a little painting that I did a few days ago, and it feels to me, now that it's dry, like it could really, really use some more darks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same colors that I used to paint it, and I'm going to mix up some dark values, and I'm just going to put them right on top. What I'm hoping to do is give the painting a little bit more depth and a little bit more dimension. And I don't have my flowers anymore that I painted this from, but that really doesn't matter. Never be afraid to go back into a painting if you feel that it needs something. Even if you don't have your subject in front of you, odds are, at this stage, you already know what it is that your painting's lacking, and you can just go in and do it. That also gives it a little bit more of a, uh, a free sort of a look to it. It just gives it a little bit more life and makes it more than just a copy of something. What I'm going to do next is just put a little bit more of some warmer values in a few places. I don't have to get every single center in there blocked in as much as every other one. Uh, variety is always good to have in any painting and it makes things uh, that much more interesting to look at. Wow, look at just what having that little bit more of some of those dark values uh, really made that pop. I'm also going to take a little bit of a slightly warmer reddish orange and put a little bit of that on some of the petals. That's also going to give the petals themselves a little bit more of that depth that they're lacking right now. I'm going to mainly focus on the ones that are at the forefront of this painting because we do want some of the others to maybe have a little bit less contrast so that they recede and move a little bit further back. And then last of all, what I'm going to do is to go right back into some of that foliage and I'm going to put some really, really dark neutral tones in there to just give us a lot of depth. So let's get really, really nice and dark. And oops, we can use that to go in and just add a lot more definition to some of the inner parts of this. Wow, look at how that makes it pop when we get that really, really intense sort of dark. I'm using hardly any water, as you can tell. And by doing so, I'm able to get a lot of paint onto my paper and really, really, really pop those darks that are within the foliage and behind some of the flowers. And there we go. Well, that looks much better. Dark values are so important to any painting. Never be afraid of the darks. Hope you had fun, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.